What's up, YouTube? AJ the God here. Now, guys, I came across a video that I know all of us guys could benefit from. White, black, Chinese, Asian. Wait, I think Chinese and Asian is the same. Philippine. I think all those are Asian. Whatever. As long as you're a man and you're straight, I mean, huh? Maybe even the gay guys would like this stuff. No, but I have to do it, women. So, yeah, straight. <laughs> We all always want to know how we could get more FaceTime, and this lady says she has a secret to reveal in how to get more FaceTime, so let's not waste any time. Do you want more jobs from your woman using zero manipulation and strengthening your relationship in the process? Yes. Yes, I do. Listen to this. Hey guys, I'm Stephanie Ganowski, sexologist and sex coach for men. Welcome to my channel, and if you've been subscribed, welcome back. Happy to have you. Do you okay. only get BJs? Like you get them, but just once in a while. Or maybe you get them pretty often, but they only last a few seconds or a minute. And then she's over it. She's done. And you're probably not. Yeah, oh, my jaw hurt. It, my jaw is tired. Yeah. Yeah, when eating food, your, your, mouth, your jaw don't get tired. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not calling any names or anything doing what I'm about to tell you, which is the greatest secret to getting your woman to giving you more jobs. Okay. Compliment her during and after, but keep listening because there's more to it than just that. When you compliment her, it has to be personal, personal mm. to her. So for example, I want you to notice the difference in these compliments. Okay. Damn, that feels good. Versus mm. baby, your lips look so sexy around my dick. You're so good at sucking it. Oh. Do you notice the difference? Yeah, I did. I, I did notice the difference. One is just a general compliment, a general comment even. Damn, mm -hmm. that feels good. Okay, great. <laughs> it doesn't feel like there's any connection there. Versus mm -hmm. the second one, baby, your lips look so sexy around my And you're so good at sucking it. That feels mm. personal. That, that is personal. Like you're talking about my lips and that I'm good at something. We all want to do more of what we're good at. This is just human psychology. Take a look at the difference between these three post job compliments. Number one, that was great. I'm gonna go wash up. <laughs> Which you'd be surprised how often this one comes up. Well, let's not do that. Versus, wow, I need a second to come back after that one. I loved how you looked at me practically during the whole thing. Babe, that was so hot. See, if you enjoy jobs, this is how you're actually thinking when you think about them. Right? Mm. You're like, you're thinking of what you admire. You're thinking of what you love most. You're, mm. you're imagining how good it feels and how sexy she looks giving it to you. So share this with her. Like, don't be afraid to actually speak up and share what you're genuinely feeling. And this is why these compliments are not about manipulation. They're about literally share what you're thinking about instead of holding it in and just leaving a comment like, nice, I'm going to go wash up. And now we have the third option post job compliment which mm -hmm. is see that wasn't so bad why can't you just do that every week don't do this she is just yeah yeah never do that she, knowing women you will never get her to do it again and then some other guy on the outside would have her brushing her teeth with his you know <laughs> less likely to want to give you another job after that you know so in both mm -hmm. cases, compliment number two is the most personal compliment. Mm -hmm. It builds desire and it connects the two of you. Example number one builds neither. And example number three, like I said, just don't even go there. <laughs> don't even say that. Unless you don't like jobs. So my major point here is how you communicate immediately after a favorable sexual act is really important because in this case, it really does set the tone for the next job encounter. And this will make you both happier. This will make you both enjoy jobs more. And when it comes to your woman giving you help, you want uh -huh. to make it easier for her to do so emotionally, physically, and sexually. We want her thinking job equals sexy. So that means helping her feel turned on while doing it and mm -hmm. even aroused during the act. But that's a little more advanced. We'll save that for another video. I okay. hope this helped you. And don't forget to check out this video if you haven't yet. No, I'm not going to lie. That was some good advice. Now, for me personally, let me tell you boys what I do. Okay? I'm going to share some some of my tricks that I do with you. I over-exaggerate. Well, not really over-exaggerate, but I over-exaggerate um, how good it is. Like, for me, it feels good. 
and I'm just a exaggerative person. So in the act, I push off like, oh God, oh God, hold on, wait, 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 hey, hey, take it easy. <laughs> Give me some time to catch myself. You know what I'm saying? Or I would say, yo, hey, I thought you said we were soulmates. Why are you trying to take mine from me? You understand, boys? You have to make them feel good at all times because if they don't feel good, they won't make you feel good. You hear me? <laughs> but I honestly think this was great advice for the boys out there who's too afraid to talk. Stop being so silent, bro. And when you're going to do something, don't be a bitch, man. Moan in that ear. Be like, mm -hmm, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be hollering in my woman ear, bro. Oh, God. Babes, babes. Go easy on me. Go easy on me. Treat me like Adele. <laughs> Go easy on me. Oh, my goodness. But, guys, that's the end of the video. My name is AJ. Y'all can call me the guy. If y'all like this video, go ahead, hit that like and that subscribe button for more. If this is not a chicken, go take content, brother.